This guide is the second in the series, Identity Management with Office 365. These four guides were designed to be taken in order, as they follow the prescribed process for configuring Active Directory Federation. In this guide, you'll see how to enable single sign-on access in your organization using Active Directory Federation services. To navigate this guide, either click the prompts indicated on the screen, or use your phone. You'll begin from the Server Manager dashboard on your organization's domain controller. The first task is to create an internal DNS host record for Active Directory Federation services. Click Tools, and then follow the prompts on the screen to see how. Click DNS to navigate to DNS Manager on the server. Follow the prompts on the screen to open the Forward Lookup Zones folder. To see how to add a new host, follow the prompts on the screen. Enter FS in the name field, and then enter the IP address of the server where you will install Active Directory Federation services. Follow the prompts on the screen to complete the task. As you can see, finally, close DNS Manager. Now, switch to the server where Active Directory Federation services will be installed. In these next steps, you'll see how to install the role on this server. First, select Add Roles and Features from the Quick Start pane. Then, follow the prompts on the screen to navigate through the wizard. Ensure that the first option, Role-based or Feature-based installation, is selected. Ensure the desired server is selected. Here, you'll see a list of roles that can be installed on the selected server. Select Active Directory Federation Services from the list, and then follow the prompts on the screen. Review the required features for this role, and click Add Features when you're ready to proceed. Features that are required for the ADFS role have already been selected. Ensure that Federation Service is selected, and then click Next. Here, you can review the role services that will be installed for the web server role. For the purposes of this guide, you'll keep the default settings. To complete this task, click Install. Once installation is complete, close the wizard. Next, you'll see how to import the certificate you created in the previous guide to the local machine certificate store, and then add it to the browser sign-in website for ADFS. To begin, open Windows Explorer, and then follow the prompts on the screen. In the Certificate Import Wizard, select Local Machine as the store location. Enter the password for the private key. Review the settings specified and finish. Close Windows Explorer and then follow the prompts to continue. Next, you'll assign the certificate to the default website. To do so, navigate to Internet Information Services, IIS, Manager. In the Navigation pane, expand the server listing and navigate to Default Website. Follow the prompts on the screen to add a site binding. Change the binding type to HTTPS and then When finished, close the site bindings window and navigate back to the server manager dashboard. Next, you'll configure Active Directory Federation services. To begin, navigate to ADFS Management. Open the ADFS Federation Server Configuration Wizard. Verify that Create a New Federation Service is selected, and then click Next. 
For high availability scenarios, you may choose to create a Federation server farm, which would allow your Federation to continue in the event of a single ADFS system failure. For the purposes of this guide, you'll select Standalone Federation Server. Follow the prompts on the screen to complete the wizard. Review the specified configuration settings and then click Next to continue. After the settings have been configured, close the wizard. Lastly, close ADFS. Now, switch to the server where the Federation Service Proxy will be installed. Follow the prompts to begin installation. Ensure that Role-Based or Feature-Based Installation is selected. Specify the server to be used. Select Active Directory Federation Services. Review the required features for ADFS role installation. Features that are required for the ADFS role have already been selected. Deselect the Federation Service role and then select the Federation Service Proxy role. The Federation Service Proxy collects user credentials from browser clients and web applications and then forwards those credentials to the Federation Service on their behalf. Here, you can select the role services for the web server. For the purposes of this guide, you'll use the default settings. To complete this task, click Install. Once installation is complete, close the wizard. Next, you'll import the certificate you created in the previous guide to the browser sign-in website for the Federation Service Proxy. To begin, open Windows Explorer, and then follow the prompts to continue. In the Certificate Import Wizard, select Local. Enter the password for the private key. Now, review the specified settings, finish the import, and close Windows Explorer. Next, navigate to Internet Information Services, IIS, Manager to add a site binding. In the navigation pane, exp here you'll add a site binding. Just change the binding type to H. When finished, close the window and navigate back to Server Manager. Next, you'll run the Federation Server Proxy Connection Wizard. Follow the prompts on the screen to continue. Before proceeding with the configuration, it's recommended that you test the connection. As you can see, the Federation Service has been contacted successfully. Next, you'll create a trust between the Federation Server Proxy and the Federation Service. Enter your credentials and then follow the prompts on the screen to continue. Review the configuration settings and then click Next. As you can see, the Federation Server Proxy has been successfully configured. Close the wizard to continue. Next, switch to your organization's Forefront Threat Management Gateway Server and test the firewall web publishing rule for ADFS. To begin, select ADFS and then click Test Rule. The tests completed successfully, confirming the firewall web publishing rule. This guide, Installing and Configuring Active Directory Federation Services, is now complete.